and welcome to Time of the Month. This month I go to Nottingham to see Marcy, I go to Watford to see the launch of the Hogwarts Express at Warner Brothers Studio Tour, and I stay right here in London to get loads of work done on my upcoming short film and other projects. Oh, and I also get a birthday present from Ollie, which means that I've now celebrated my birthday in all three of my Time of the Month videos so far. I think we could make this last the whole year, guys. I really do. This is March. Good morning! It is the first day of March and I'm kicking it off in style. I'm on my way into um, Covent Garden to meet a bunch of friends because we're going to watch the rugby Ireland v England. It's the big one. They're playing in the Aviva. Wish I was home for it, but I'm not. I'm wearing green, of course, and I've painted my nails green, white and orange. I mean, I can't play rugby. I can't really provide much to the sport, but this is what I can do. This is the kind of sport I can lend. It's a Hannah Witten! <laughs> It's a Daniel Layton! Also sports. Also sports. Oh guys, you're not very excited! <laughs> yeah! That's fine. No one else is doing that, so we're keeping a little bit for the There's moment. an Irish man over there, like... <laughs> he's the only other Irish person in the whole place. <laughs> so happy. Not happy. Very happy corner. Less happy corner. It's all good though. Ireland won! Yeah! There it is. Oh, yeah. It's now Hazel Hayes' turn. It's very good, is it? I never filmed that. Is that just like a <laughs> <laughs> So as you know, my film that was in production is now no longer in production, which is sad. But the show must go on. So I'm here on YouTube today with my good friend Sammy Paul. And what we've done is had a whole day of brainstorming and just throwing into the ring all of the kind of big ideas we've had for short films recently. And we're just basically figuring out which one to go with. There's definitely some options on the table and I'm excited about them. So I'm kind of excited to get stuck back into the production process because it feels weird having to go back to the start and then forward again. But yeah, that's where we're at. If filmmaking was a statue, today's been the day where we just chucked down a lot of clay and we're like, what sticks, what works, what can we, which direction can we go in? Just, just kind of mulling stuff over. Yeah, And now good. the ball is in your court, really, to like... Yeah, I need to decide which one we're going to go, one we go with. with. But, but one yeah. way or the other, we're definitely doing a short film in April anyway. Exciting! Go team! <laughs> we just walked out of the space. Ollie's just got this giant wrapped thing, which I suspect may be for me. I mean, if it's not for me, it. I'm going to be pissed now. We're just going to roll with that, found I know you've got to bring this the whole way home. Central line, but with it. me. Were you planning on getting this home without me being here? Yeah. And then I turned up. Oh, I'm so Ruined sorry. Everyone on my monthly vlogs is going to have me open the present for my birthday in January. Which is nice. Oh my. Thank you. Welcome. Bo is my favourite. Who's your? Who? Bo. What's that mean? Your Bo. Your bae. You're like, you're pricing. Oh. I'm just about to head uh, into the YouTube space for a little while to do a bit of work there and catch up with some people and um, then I'm meeting my agent, Taylee, and we're going to meet uh, some people from Childline who I'm hopefully going to be doing some work with soon, which is exciting. It's good. It's a charity that I really respect and really like, so hopefully we can make something work. I've got a big red nose and I've got a big sore throat because once again I'm sick. I've been sick all week and been trying to like shake it, you know, that kind of way and I just can't quite kick it, it just won't go away. So um, I'm a little bit poorly again today. I'm not really feeling up to running around London, but needs must. Got my head on, that's the main thing. Got a big woolly jumper and a big nice warm coat. So I should be fine, here we go. All right, we're in Brixton. Hello, hi. On our way to this meeting with Twilight. This is Taylor, my agent. We're both very snotty today. A lot of people looking at me thinking I'm crazy. Such is the life of a vlogger. I found a Tia! Hi! Hi Tia, how are you? I'm good. No one knows who I am anymore. They know who you are. Oh, You're like, well, works for 1080 Magazine. Like I'm 
Street Studios today um, because we, I say we, there's a bunch of us here, are doing some work for a child line. We're doing some voiceovers for an animation that's going to be going up soon, um, which looks really funky and fun. It's all about um, porn, which might sound a bit strange. Um, it's not anti-porn, but it's about using porn in the right ways and uh, not being too affected by it, which is really interesting. Cataloging prolific historical case studies including rehabilitated porn zombies, serving currently as FAPS operatives. <laughs> Hannah and I came back here and we had some pizza and then we had some wine and we filmed a tipsy talk and a drunk advice. <laughs> And now we're thinking about doing a song, which isn't the best idea we've ever had. It's just that we've had a few and we think, oh, we can sing a song. I don't sing a song right now. Look how much like an elf I look. That's cute. I like it. If I ever become a rock star, at the end of my gigs, I'll be like, happy time of the month, guys. Why? I'm just a little bit caught in the middle. Life is amazing. Life is amazing. Happy time of the month, guys. <laughs> when we left off in February, things were quite up in the air, I think it's fair to say. But I was feeling very optimistic going into March that uh, the next big project was just around the corner and everything would be A-OK. -okay. And to be honest, it is. It's all good. As you saw, I had that awesome day out with my friends watching the rugby, which we won! Yeah, go Ireland! The day after the rugby, I spent a whole day with Sammy. That was a really fun and helpful day. It's really important sometimes, I think, in the creative process to not actually be doing anything, but just taking time alone or with someone else that you bounce off well and just talking about all of your options, you know, just being creative and then coming back to it and starting to actually put plans in place. I now have a plan in place and I would love to tell you guys about all the stuff I have coming up. So first off, there's this short film, of course. This week, I'm going to try and flesh out the whole plot and if possible, try and get the whole script written. As well as that, I'm starting a six part series and that's gonna be called 10 Signs You're Watching Too Much, dot, dot, dot. It's a comedy sketch series where in each one you see, you know, a person in their everyday life who's basically been warped by watching far too much of a particular TV show. For example, the first one is 10 Signs You're Watching Too Much Game of Thrones. I actually filmed this ages ago, so my hair and everything is different in it, as you'll probably notice. I'm also in talks with a company who are potentially um, going to fund a film on my channel. Now, what I'm actually doing is pitching a much bigger series to them, but what we'll probably do is make a little sort of prelude to that, and then hopefully, if I get the funding, I'll make the whole series as well. As well as that, <laughs> I'm talking to um, a company about an anthology channel that YouTube are setting up which I'm really excited about actually. You get to work with this team who are absolutely brilliant and have a whole portfolio of amazing stuff that they've made and make a one-off thing for their channel. And then of course, as I always say, in the meantime, I've got my regular videos that I upload every week. I've just filmed that video for the Childline campaign. You may have noticed I'm wearing the same clothes I did in that. I'm now heading into the second week of March, which promises to be just as hectic as the first one. And there's gonna be a lot of editing and script writing this week. So that might not be that much fun for you guys to watch, but I will film as much fun stuff as I can. Hello, I'm about to tell you what we're gonna to do today and you'll never guess in a million years. We are going to Nottingham to see Morrissey. Which as you do. We're going on a train to Nottingham to see Morrissey. Random. train is just stopped in the station waiting for me to get out. Um, I've tweeted about the fact that I'm trapped in a toilet and everyone is suggesting that I uh, call Louise and ask should I throw water at the lock. Some of you will get that, some of you won't. That's the men. 
You've been vlogging this? Yeah. <laughs> You've been vlogging, live vlogging? I've been vlogging, like... How many men? Five men? I was stuck in a fucking toilet in five men return. These yeah. are the lovely men who got me out. The most fun thing about a Marcy gig is you're never really sure whether he's going to turn up or not, so that's quite exciting. Um, that's probably going to be the most exciting thing that happens tonight, really. I'll listen to this little Marcy t-shirt. It's absolutely freezing. I'll be laughing when everyone's really hot inside. Yeah? I'll be laughing then. Alright. And uh, I would just like to say, in any case, I've enjoyed it. Thank you. Just go back to London with 10 minutes to get home for the rugby. I think we can do it. We can do it. Good. Come down to points difference next weekend. Just got in and Wales are winning already. It's 9-0. Oh, I uh, would have been here on time except I stopped for donuts. Because you have to. It's all dumb, dumb donuts. It's got to be done. Good morning. What a beautiful sunny day it is here in London town. I'm looking out my window and I'm just thinking I need to be out there. It's that time of year where it feels like the sun is finally coming back out again. It's starting to get a bit warmer. Starting to have visions of summer and how lovely that's going to be. I'm done with winter. I am done with cold. I'm done with staying indoors. I need to be outside now. Heading to the YouTube space first of all, have a couple of meetings there today. And then I'm meeting my BBC crew. Um, Jess and Ben are having dinner with me tonight. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them again. I haven't seen Ben since the shoot, which is crazy. Here's a Jess! Hey, she's back. <laughs> she's back. There may not be a montage of just her face this time. There will be. <laughs> you saw the February video. Jess made a very interesting cameo. It's Ben! Pizza Express. We're Look, sat in the kitchen. Please explain to them that I don't spend my entire life in Pizza Express. She ex she does spend her entire time, but she actually works in Pizza Express. I've never Wardle Street. It's really good. Jess has just announced that she's made a list of 50 films she hasn't seen but needs to see. And I was like, read the list, read the list. It's not going to be a big deal. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. She was like, no, here, so you're going to get really angry. I was like, no, it's not fair. She's begun reading the list and now I've had to vlog it. Seven. The Shining. Never heard of that. Oh. Usual suspects. <laughs> it's painful. It's honestly painful. Godfather. Fight Club. What happens in Fight You don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> Number rule one. <laughs> Leon. Amer yes. American History X. Yes. Interview with the Vampire. Yes. The Departed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Good. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand your reaction. <laughs> I've got to the killer part of the list in which people walked out the room. I haven't seen... Um, Matrix. <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, okay. Have you seen just Lambert? Lord is off the ring. <laughs> <laughs> particularly Irish. Well I have made an Irish video called Fifty Shades of Green <laughs> on a whim like the last one. Stayed up half the night, got it done so that's going up shortly. Hope you enjoy. Um, now I'm sitting in the YouTube Space London where they've got a new um, social, what are we calling it? A space shout out screen. The space shout space social. It's a screen where you can see when people use the hashtag YouTube Space Lon. So um, I've asked people to tweet it so I can see their tweets coming in. Do some work, Hazel. <laughs> Hashtag YouTube Space Live. Thanks, Megan. Sup, Hazel. That's from Amy. Thanks, Amy. This is, oh, boobs. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks. That's not what this is for, guys. I literally just told Annika, who works here, it'll be fine because my followers are all lovely, like, young girls. They're not going to tweet anything about boobs. Really? 
<laughs> I'm taking Ollie on a surprise evening out. He doesn't know where we're going. But it's going to be super fun. It's Jack Mark. Hi, Chewing Sand audience. Oh, How are we doing? lovely. At train station now. He still doesn't know where we're going. Um, Morrissey um, called it. That's what He thinks we're going to see Morrissey again. Well, I love that. Huh? Vicarage Road, Watford versus Rotherham, that's it. 745 <laughs> kickoff, let's do it. Where are we going, Ali? Vicarage Road. Yeah, but where are we actually going? Huh? Do you know yet? Sea Life Aquarium. We're going, Harry Potter, let's do yeah! it. Yeah! They're opening the Hogwarts Express! Oh, um, shut up. Can yes! you get on it? Yes! Very excited. Very excited to be very, here. Very, very excited. very excited to be here. Oh, yeah. Yay! Ollie's stuff in his face. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> short film which I'm delighted about. The thing with writing is, and I found there was one day in particular where this happened, you can spend a whole day working and yet you get to the end of the day just feeling like you haven't really accomplished much but sometimes it really is important to just sit and think and it can feel like you're just sitting doing nothing but you're not you know you're thinking through the plot you're thinking through the characters you're jotting down notes you're trying to kind of make sense of it in your own brain before you start to to write it all down but I found after that day the next day was so much better because I'd taken that time out to think yeah I'm getting more and more confident with the writing process which is great yesterday I must have written for like 11 hours straight pretty much a couple of tea breaks in between really exhausting by the end of the day I was I was properly exhausted you're kind of putting yourself in the mindset of the characters it's a bit like when you're acting and you feel really emotionally drained. Having said he wouldn't really be that involved, <laughs> Sammy now does want to be involved. So he's now having a look at my first draft of the script and he's going to give me some notes on that and help me work on it. He's helping me with the castings next week, which I'm really excited about. I haven't done a proper like casting before. So we're getting loads of actors in and I'm really excited to see what they bring to the table and how they kind of make these characters come to life. There's so much to be done, but I'm feeling positive about it, which is the main thing. Ollie's away this weekend, so I'm on my Todd. So I'm heading off to see my friends and I still have loads of work to do. I need to get my video ready for this weekend as well. I'm late, I'm gonna go. And I think I'm maybe not gonna bring my camera, but you might get some really dodgy phone footage now. We're in the Jesus! <laughs> That's my impression of 
way, so. <laughs> so it's just like you, 100%. I am now on my way to a production meeting with Crystal Smith, who's my producer again, which is great, and also uh, Dave O'Quigley, who you might have seen on Behind the Scenes and other stuff before, but this time he's going to be the production manager. So let's go get some production done. late. Uh, me and Sammy have been here riding all day and uh, someone brought us wine, <laughs> which is good, so now we're doing that. Sammy's just discovered my foldable ballet pumps. What are you guys say about that, Sammy? It's cool, look, they just sit like that. <laughs> I think that's cool. I was like, why are your shoes broken? And then you put your foot in and it goes flat. I've done in my heels. Yep. Bam! Yep. And then you just put it on your feet. You've so much to learn about women. No. Fashion. They're just little shoes that I didn't know about. I'm very tired of it. <laughs> well, where was I? I had done the first draft of the script. Sammy's had a look at it. We're now going over it again to like restructure it and make all the characters better to make it better. Go make it better. It's filmmaking. morning I had a very late night writing with Sammy but we got the whole new structure for the script laid out which is amazing um, today once again I'm running late always running late slept her and what can you do um, so I've just got myself together and I'm heading into the YouTube space again because today and tomorrow we're doing castings for the film which is really exciting I've never done a big proper full casting before Crystal's working away on all the locations and that kind of stuff in the meantime and we're just kind of liaising back and forth and that so production is in full swing and yeah I'm really excited about today excited about the whole project Project. Let's get going. I did that thing again where I was like, hey, good morning, let's go do a thing. And then I just didn't film all day, did I? Partly because, I'll be honest, I was going to film the castings and then I realised, you know, it's a kind of nerve wracking experience, so you don't want to stick a camera in their face. But um, yeah, some really good additions tonight, some great actors. Another long day tomorrow. Um, I'm speaking to our DOP in the morning and then another full day of castings with Sammy. So it's all systems go. Just on another day of the castings. Number Did I film one. it? Did I fuck? Should have. Did it. Number one. Sammy's doing an impression of my friend. Who I've never Andrea, met. Andrea, who he's never met. Number one. We are now heading out to where are we, where are we going? To, to the Tom Webster and Luke Spillane's joint birthday. Yeah. Their annual birthday. What's annual birthday today? Birthday. No, no, no. Go. Go where? He's a wampa fruit. Red shell. Red shell. <laughs> <laughs> From the Queen of England to the hands of hell dum, dum, dum. And I catch it coming back my way And I'll to you <laughs> This guy's gonna have a fedora and he's gonna be smiling at us I Oh it's like a film you. where you're oh, he's about to arrive. He's, he's gonna be smiling at us you Ready? <laughs> I'm totally in the. Uh, I'm totally aware that you're not going to put this up because you're going to be like. Oh, I at the time, you're going to be like. Yeah, right now, you're like. Ah, I'm hilarious. And then no, no. And then it's going tomorrow, in. you're going to be like. It's going in. Show Dave on. Show over to Dave. Dave's good. Well, I've already been there. Hi, Dave's yeah. always yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. He's been on How you the. Doing? He's been. He's a veteran. I did that thing again where I'm like, we're all going out for the night. Give me amazing. And then, like, cut to. Just <laughs> at the end of the night. End of night. Hazel's pissed. We haven't fucking vlogged anything. Uh, good night. Good night all round, though. Someone's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a lot of singing. Is that even pointing at me? <laughs> so I don't like the fact that you got to conclude there. So I'd like to be the, like, do is it All right, a would you like to, in me? summary? No, the Final in summary. Final thoughts with John McKeown. This is John McKeown. It's my friend John McKeown. He writes the scripts, he makes the movies. <laughs> <That's no way. laughs> That's your song. Final thoughts, I really enjoyed being out with you tonight, Hazel. It's been too long since we had a good yap. Oh, God, he's been Absolutely. sincere. <laughs> <laughs> we met a boy band, we met a boy band. Ready, go. What? Baby, can I hold you tonight? I hope that they'll do this by themselves. <laughs> Baby, I told you tonight. Trump. Good, yeah, yeah, good. Means I'm saying, brilliant. I like it. This is it. The final day of March. What a month it has been. Where am I off to tonight? Well, I will tell you exactly where I'm off to tonight. <laughs> so excited. I've been invited to a screening of Interstellar at the Royal Albert Hall. And it's going to be accompanied by an entire orchestra led by Hans Zimmer himself. Holy crap! 
so excited. So, I mean, once again, I'm late. Once again, I'm vlogging instead of, you know, being on a bus or a train where I should be. Um, got pre-dressed on, got some high heels on. You know what I mean? This is when I've got high heels on. And yeah, I feel all weird and nervous. I'm so excited to go see this. We're here. Finally. Finally. Um, we should have really vlogged the journey here. We had a little smooth. There are so many exits to the So many machine. exits to that tube station. There are so many doors as well. So many doors in Robert Hall. But we're here. This is Ben. Hi. This is thing. Apparently, Christopher Nolan's here. Oh, we should probably go. So we should go see <laughs> <him. laughs> It's a film that's a celebration of science. So why do you want to make it? I would say it, it's not so much a film that the plot relies on science as it's defined by science. So we always try to, in every aspect of the film, look at what the real science offers first and, and see if that will present an exciting opportunity for the audience. I've never made six blockbusters in a row. I don't even think I've made two blockbusters in a row. I'd like to introduce a man who I think is the greatest composer of movie music I've ever come across. Ladies and gentlemen, Hans Zimmer. I started this month with a bit of a mountain to climb, to be honest, in terms of catching up on stuff for my short film and all the other projects that I have coming up. And I don't mind telling you that I had a lot of sleepless nights. I was juggling a lot of stuff and I felt like I had like all these balls in the air that I needed to like catch and put in nice little homes where they belonged. <laughs> my analogies are getting more and more weird every month, have you noticed? I came into this month with no film, <laughs> knowing that I had to make one and also keep up everything else that I'm doing. But I'm leaving this month with a script. I mean, albeit it's a first draft and I need to work on it, but I have a script and I pretty much have a cast. We have the final day of casting coming up and I've got Sammy working with me on the creative stuff and I've got Crystal and Dave working on the production side of things. I've got a DOP on board, I've got a crew. There's a film happening that wasn't happening a month ago. And on top of that, I've managed to be involved in some other projects, including this Childline campaign. I've kept up my week videos, I've done two Irish videos in honour of St. Patrick's Day and I've somehow managed to do lots of fun social stuff as well. I found time for my friends and Ollie and for me and I've also been following Ireland in the rugby which has been nice, it's like a little way for me to kind of feel at home. We won by the way, I didn't actually vlog the last day that we played but either way we won the Six Nations which is great second year in a row we're going for Triple Crown next year. Overall if I had to summarise March I would say it's been about getting back on track, you know, maybe not necessarily completing projects, but getting back to where I needed to be, putting plans in place, laying the groundwork, and ultimately leaving the month a lot less anxious and stressed and pressured than I was when I started. And I'm heading into April hitting the ground running. I'm shooting a sketch with Tom Scott next week. I'm shooting my own short film next month and I've got the first of my six part series coming out. So lots to do and I'm feeling ready and able for it all. That's been March. <laughs>